when a, a parade of celebrities comes through here and trashes our main industry, I, I think it's uh, there. It's incumbent upon them to educate themselves about what's really going on. And, uh, and I think you uh, need to look at the context of the latest celebrity to come through and say, has that person done their homework? Uh, you know what? We, we're pretty transparent. Uh, people can come see the oil sands, what they're doing. But the fact is, the, it's, uh, our environmental regulation is as strict as it here as it is anywhere on earth. Uh, our, our companies do a great job. We have a pretty, uh, pretty complete uh, regime to, to monitor that. And for someone to roll in here who's famous and pass judgment in uh, less than 72 hours, I, I think you really have to think about the credibility. Uh, so, I, and again, I would say to people to criticize, we, we as a government should agree to environmental regulatory regimes that are in line with those people that we are competing with, domestically, internationally, and we need to work hard on our Aboriginal relationships to, uh, to get some of that market access. Uh, it is, if you're in the energy business today, you are in the environment business, and so uh, we need to work hard at um, Alberta's environmental credentials. It's going to take leadership, it's going to take um, work both uh, in terms of Canada and the United States, but also internationally. Um, we have uh, an exceptional environmental performance uh, in terms of the Canadian energy industry, including the oil sands. The oil sands is probably Canada's greatest uh, scientific achievement. And so we need to work hard to make sure people understand that. We need to be continually improving it. Um, and at the end of the day, I think that we can um, secure international support because this resource is extremely important to the world's supply demand balance. And we will do it in an environmentally responsible way. We also need to work with our First Nations. Um, you know, across Northern Alberta, uh, for sure, many of the First Nations, most of the First Nations are in the energy business. And uh, they participate in the economy there. They know it creates jobs and economic opportunity for First Nations. And they're supportive of economic activity. Uh, to take uh, Desmond Tutu, uh, to Northern Alberta and walk him uh, through the sites of the industry uh, as I have other governors and, and senators and congressmen uh, and leaders of, uh, from European Union and other countries. Because I have to tell you, showing them objectively, allowing them to ask any questions they want and give them, giving them fact-based answers up to now without any exception has, if not changed the mind of, of those who have been historically critical has definitely neutralized uh, their, their opinions uh, that are not in line uh, with ours. So I respect his opinion. Uh, I think we need, to, we need to be cognizant that there are those who are of that opinion and, and I think we need to work harder uh, to make sure that, uh, that they are provided with factual information and, and that, uh, uh, that their opinion is, is, uh, is an educated one. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, there will always be naysayers. We need to satisfy ourselves uh, that we are doing the best that we can. And I think there's always room for improvement. And uh, at the end of the day, we live in this province. You know, I, 